Hello, this is Dr. Poonam Desai with Psychological and Social Services, and I'm here to share with you a video for parents and caregivers, although it's hopefully useful for anyone, um, but paying particular attention to how much parents and caregivers, whether you're teachers or professionals working at home or essential workers having to uh, go out and do hard work and scary work right now, um, know that you are appreciated and um, that we recognize that you are juggling so many different responsibilities right now. And it is so important for you to take a few minutes for yourself whenever you can so that you can find that time to recharge. So as we begin this video and this practice, I would invite you to settle in by allowing yourself to pause. If you need to let your children know that you need a few minutes, maybe put on a short video for them if that would be helpful. If there's another caregiver who's present and available, maybe asking that person to keep an eye on things for a few minutes while you take some time for yourself. You can pause the video if you would like. We'll be here when you get back. So allowing yourself to step away is so important because your peace is critical for the peace of your home and your family. So perhaps find a space to sit for a few minutes where you can be undisturbed. If you feel comfortable, I invite you to close your eyes. If not, just find a space on the ground in front of you and allow your gaze to land there softly. I'll invite you to take a deep breath in through your nose. You might do it over four counts. So breathing in, two, three, four, and holding it just for a moment and then exhaling softly and slowly. Letting go of all any attention you might be holding, letting go of the different things you are juggling in your mind or maybe physically juggling. Allow yourself to put those things down as you exhale. Let's try that a couple more times. So again, an inhale, nice and big through the nose, taking in everything, knowing that you are holding so much, acknowledging all of that, and then letting it go through that big, deep exhale through your mouth, a longer exhale than you inhale. Allowing yourself to release those stresses, release those thoughts and those worries, and opening yourself up to the present moment. Let's try that one more time, a deep breath in, holding it just for a moment, and then releasing. Letting go of everything that you are holding. Allowing yourself that time to open, to attend to your own needs. And as we go through this practice, you might also begin to open your ears to your surroundings. And I invite you to be present with that. Acknowledge that whatever is going on around you is reality. It's part of your reality. There could be food cooking on the stove. There might be crying or screaming kids in the background. There might be homeschooling that needs to be done that you know you are ultimately responsible for. And of course, we are all inside, sheltered inside, and finding our movement a little bit more limited than we would like. And this is difficult. 
And all of that is true. And all that the present moment is asking from us is just to accept what is. So just being present with the moment, whatever it is that that moment is bringing to you. As we learn to accept what is, we can also allow ourselves and open ourselves up to find the beautiful moments when they arise. And with that frame in mind, I invite you to join in a brief body scan practice with me. And if you would like a little bit more of an in-depth practice, I would recommend John Kabat-Zinn's book, Full Catastrophe Living, where he has a really nice in-depth explanation and practice that you can follow. And for this practice, again, I'll invite you to allow your eyes to close or find a spot in front of you. And I'll begin by ringing a bell, just to kind of bring us into the moment. And as the bell is ringing, I invite you to find your breath again. Focusing more on the exhale than the inhale, the letting go versus the holding on. We're going to begin by bringing our attention to our head. So you might start with the top of your head and just noticing what kinds of sensations are there for you. And you might notice tingling or itching or warmth or coolness or sweat. Whatever it is, it's perfectly fine. With the body scan practice, all that is being asked of you is to tune in to what is going on in your body. And you might feel nothing at all, and that is also fine. And then we'll move to our face. So maybe starting with your forehead, just noticing what sensations are there for you. Again, tingling numbness, um, tickling sensations, heat, cold, pressure, pain, all of those are acceptable. Anything that you feel is acceptable. And then moving down to your eyes, your ears, your nose, your mouth, your chin, Taking in kind of that whole area of your face and noticing what sensations are there. Maybe you feel some pulsing or throbbing. Maybe you again feel heat or cold or itching. Whatever it is, is perfectly fine. Maybe you feel nothing and that is also fine. And then moving down your throat Perhaps going to your right shoulder, noticing what is there. You might begin to become aware of some tension, some tightness. You might notice the temperature. You might notice any discomfort. Whatever sensation you have there, your only job right now is to just acknowledge it and keep moving down your arm from your upper arm to your elbow to your lower arm to your wrist and your hands really feeling in your hands what sensations might be present for you there maybe even having a little bit of Gratitude for all that our hands do throughout the day, all that they help us with. Right now I'm noticing a little bit of 
throbbing and pulsing in my hand. So I'm just paying attention to that. And then moving to the left shoulder, down the left upper arm, elbow, forearm, wrist, and then your left hand, your palm, and then your fingers. Just noticing what sensations are there. Then I invite you to bring your attention back up to your upper chest. And we'll move down the front of our body, the front of our torso. So moving down your chest, over your heart space, down into the area of your stomach and your other organs, your abdomen. Just paying attention. Noticing what kinds of sensations are there for you or present for you. This is just your opportunity to tune into your body. And now I'll invite you to bring your attention back up and we'll go down the back of our body, the back of our torso. So starting with the back of our neck, noticing what's there. This is a place that a lot of people hold tension, pain, worry, stress. And perhaps you take a deep breath in, notice what you're feeling and exhale, letting it go, letting it loosen, opening up that space in the back the back of your neck, the back of your shoulders, your upper back, moving down into your lower back, noticing where your body touches the seat, your bottom. Again, just noticing whatever sensations come, just acknowledging them. If you find that there's a lot of pain, maybe taking a moment to breathe through it, inviting a release, perhaps asking what it is that that part of your body needs in order to feel more open and relaxed, to let go. Then we'll move into our right leg, so starting with our right thigh, moving down, and again, we're just noticing the sensations, heat, cool, tingling, pressure, pain, numbness, no sensation, could be tightness, whatever it is, moving down into your knee, to your shin and calf, moving down into your ankle, noticing your heel, your foot, maybe the balls of your feet, your toes. Maybe allowing energy to flow through that right side of your body down into the floor. Noticing where your foot is touching the floor. Perhaps acknowledging how you're being held by the ground. Perhaps imagining your body as a tree rooting down into the ground, finding stability, finding strength, knowing that you're being nourished, whether or not you're aware. And we'll do the same on the left side. So moving from our left upper thigh, down our left leg into our knee, 
into the lower portion of our leg. Down into our ankle, the heel. foot, again maybe feeling the ball of your feet and your toes, noticing where your feet are touching the ground, and again just becoming aware of how you are being held by the ground. And perhaps noticing that energy moving through you, any sensation can be used for this. Maybe imagining a rooting down into the ground, finding stability, finding support, finding a sense of space and opening up and release. knowing that no matter how chaotic things might be on the inside, I'm sorry, on the outside, maybe on the inside, that you always have this available to you. You always have this sense of stability, this peacefulness, this rootedness can be available to you just by tuning in to your breath, by tuning into your body, and knowing that nourishing yourself, nourishing your own sense of peace, supports your family and supports the community to find their own peace. You notice the bell, you become more aware of your surroundings once again. Perhaps you gently open your eyes, allowing them to adjust to the room. I invite you to just take a moment to thank yourself for showing up and giving yourself this opportunity to practice and to give yourself time and space and to consider what it is your body has let you know that you need in order to continue to feel peaceful and nourished throughout your day. And with that, we'll close. And I wish you peace. I wish you a sense of calm. And I wish you joy in your day. Thank you for joining me.